The noise could no longer be ignored. A buried past was resurfacing to confront the faces of the faction's divergence. Bullet Club was not fine. I'm Kevin Kelly, and this is The Recount. There was no bandaging the BCOGs back together with the elite. No reconciling new wave populism with old school rebellion. The approaching Los Angeles bout at Fighting Spirit Unleashed marked the first battle in a new civil war. The Walter Pyramid hosted an almost bloodless coup, not to discourage the damage done to Bat Jackson's back as he was sent flying through a table. Screaming back and oh my god! slamming through the table off the top. A human being's body just ripped. Gorillas of Destiny stamp the deciding statement on their fourth IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Championship. The night ended with Kota Ibushi, Kenny Omega, and Cody gearing up for a three-way IWGP Heavyweight Championship match, not as members of Bullet Club Elite, but simply the Elite. Cody Rhodes, Kota Ibushi, let us show the beauty of professional wrestling and let us, in one week's time, have a triple threat match! Bad blood with former brothers pushed aside for the time being. There was a silent separation. The remaining Bullet Club members returned to Japan on the brink of a major change. The semi-main event for next month's King of Pro Wrestling had Hiroshi Tanahashi attempting to avenge a personal G1 loss to Switchblade Jay White, who mercilessly threatened to wrest the Tokyo Dome main event from his grasp. A month earlier, White had walked out of chaos and almost effortlessly turned the group upside down in the process. Come on, what? Are you kidding me? Come on, damn it, Jay! And now, not content with what he did to Tanahashi, He's going after the leader of chaos! God damn it, Jay! What the oh. hell? What are you doing? Gato's just smashed a Okada! Gato's six and a half year relationship with Kazuchika Okada was torn asunder as Rain Taker stabbed the Rain Maker in the back. White walked into Ryogoku Sumo Hall, threatening the birth of a new era. And there was evidently more bite to his part. Breathe with the switchblade! New era! Come in soon. By the skin of his teeth, Tanahashi overcame Ghetto's interference and won, advancing to the main event of Wrestle Kingdom 13. Jay White, however, would make sure he stole the headlines, if not the glory. When White and Gato put the boots in, Sumo Hall erupted as Okada rushed in as Tanahashi's savior, eager to get a taste of his betrayers. Oh, come on! <laughs> that get him, on this Get him! Gato's wrestling brother, Giotto, still a Chaos member, appeared to play Peacemaker, only to twist the knife still in Okada's back. They're, They're telling Okada to hit Gato. BCOGs. Oh, God. shit, stuck. What the hell is going on? I think I know. Switchblade Jay White is now being invited to come in and continue the damage. The tokens, Ishimori, Chato, Gato. The dust cleared and revealed the ominous landscape, one of Jay White harnessing the power he swore he'd attain when he entered New Japan, standing atop an entire faction but that faction, being Bullet Club, was a complete shock. 
Bullet lead was combined with switchblade steel. Welcome to the club. Wow. At the beginning of the year, White turned down an invitation to the club, but it seemed to be a rejection of Kenny Omega's club, not the group itself. After all, ties ran deep. White had emigrated from New Zealand to the UK to start his wrestling career when he met and impressed one Prince Devitt in 2013. An introduction was made to Bad Luck Fale and Tamatanga, and the door was kept open for the right time. Kenny, I'm coming after your belt! Everything you've built! And everybody once again will breathe. While White was now the leader of equals, Tonga and Fale continued to be the deal makers. Through Fale's connections, the sniper of the skies, Australian athlete Robbie Eagles joined Taiji Ishimori in the Super Junior Tag League. It's Reborn. They were instantly impressive. And although they weren't victorious in the tournament, the scalps they earned included a pinfall victory for Ishimori over IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion Kushida. Throughout the fall of 2018, Ishimori ate Kushida's lunch and dinner and brought in 2019 with an emphatic win and junior gold at Wrestle Kingdom 13. Ishimori's promise to make the junior championship and division reborn under his might was not an empty one. No words were empty in Bullet Club, least of all, Jay White's. After Okada refused to take a Switchblade challenge for a Wrestle Kingdom 13 match seriously, Bullet Club took every chance to state a violent case. On October 27, enough was enough for Hiroshi Tanahashi, who chased White off and formed an unlikely alliance with Okada. Now Okada and Tanahashi have pulled the tables on the switchblade. Okay, but what's gonna happen here? The greatest rivalry of the last era of New Japan Pro Wrestling. Whoa! The man! The man! Could it be? This will be the handshake heard around the world if it culminates. For the greatest rivals of the generation, a wall was broken down and a handshake reverberated around the world. But the Bullet Club became the dream team's nightmare. White led a Bullet Club team to victory over chaos and New Japan combinations a total of seven times in the coming month. By the end of 2018, Okada had no choice but to take the Switchblade seriously. And in an interview, he admitted that he was the toughest foreigner in New Japan tougher than Chris Jericho, tougher than Kenny Omega. Digging down deep on the biggest stage, Okada brought the rainmaker of old back, all the way down to wearing the same ring gear that saw him reach his highest peak. Rattled for much of 2018 after losing the IWGP heavyweight title, the record-breaking champ seemed to be back in full effect. He shrugged off Gato's attempts to interfere and made it a one-on-one -on -one affair with Jay White. All of Omega! One more time! Which White won, clean as a sheet in the middle of the ring. There was to be no happy ending for Okada in his feud with White. At New Year's Dash, there was no happy ending for Yoshihashi, who returned to the ring after injury and fell to a Blade Runner. The night ended with open arms to Bullet Club members of old, Chase Owens and Yujiro Takahashi, and the reassembled Tower of Bullet Club stood tall over the new IWGP Heavyweight Champion Hiroshi Tanahashi. The Switchblade will be your new IWGP Heavyweight Champion. Having title success at New Beginning a year before, White was in bigger and better shape this time around as Corican Hall could only watch the Switchblade slice his way to the top of New Japan. Was this the beginning for an era of cold steel and colder hearts? We are the Bullet Club! This is the Cutthroat Era! All you can do is breathe with the Switchblade! Follow along as we retrace the history of Bullet Club by subscribing here on YouTube. And don't forget to sign up at njpwworld.com to explore all of these exciting matches in full.